coming at you with music and fun. And if you're not careful, you may learn something before it's done. Hey, hey, hey. for the Captain Cougar Show. We missed you at band practice today. Oh, no, band practice? I forgot. Sorry, Fat Albert, but this is my all-time favorite episode of Captain Cougar. I know that Fiend Viper is down there somewhere waiting for his chance to strike. How right you are, Captain. Now eat laser bolt, fool. He escaped my cannon blast, but how? You forgot my cat-like hyperspeed, Viper. All right! Now finish the creep, Captain! First, I'll take care of your evil machine. <laughs> now, are you going to come quietly, Professor? Ah! Now I'll destroy you with my bare hands! Come on, Captain! Give it to him! Yeah! Sorry, Viper, but the bad guys always lose when Captain Cougar is around. <laughs> Hey kids, meet Captain Cougar live and in person at the big comic book convention this weekend at the Plaza Hotel. And be sure to enter our big costume contest. Come dressed as your favorite science fiction or action adventure hero. Wow! Captain Cougar, just think, we'll be able to meet a real super-powered terrific hero in person. Now, that sounds like fun. Maybe we could all work up an act and enter the costume contest together. We could go as the Brown Hornet and his friends. Get with it, Fat Albert. Captain Cougar's the best. I saved three months allowance to get the money to buy this genuine Captain Cougar outfit. I'm going to wear this to the costume contest. That's pretty neat, Dexter. You sure are a big Captain Cougar fan, huh? The biggest. I have every issue of his comic book, as well as everything else he's been on. Toys, models, you name it. Captain Cougar is the greatest hero ever. And meeting him is my goal. It'll be the biggest thrill of my life. Don't you think there are some more important goals, Dexter? Not for me. I wish I could do the things the captain does. Wow! Dexter has a problem, except he doesn't know it. He thinks there's no one quite like Captain Cougar. Now, that's true. There is no one like Captain Cougar, including Captain Cougar himself. Wouldn't it be great to fly around like a real hero? But, you know, people can't really do things like that except in comic books or on TV. It's make-believe. Not to me it isn't. If I were Captain Cougar, no villain would have a chance. I'd swoop down on them from the sky and then I... Whoa! Well, Mr. Hero, I think you need some work on your landings if you want to be the next Captain Cougar. Just wait till the comic convention, Fat Albert. I'll have it down perfect by then. Come on, you know no one can really fly. It's all make-believe, Dexter. You know that, don't you? No one except Captain Cougar. He can do anything. No, oh, here's the problem. Dexter is mixing up the make-believe with the real. Now, Captain Cougar is a super kind of guy, no doubt about it. I mean, he's done everything from rescuing a sinking battleship to saving a village from a volcano. I mean, a whole village, mind you. He just picked it up and he flew it to safety. Now, that was exciting. 
I have to admit that anybody who can do that is pretty special. But the fact is that there's things that really didn't happen. Normally, that wouldn't matter because it's a great, fun thing to look at. Your imagination is flying and make believe and your hero champion is doing things in honesty and justice. But just don't forget that it is make believe. And here's where Dexter is making a mistake. Once more, I, the Brown Hornet, have been called upon to bring order to the universe. But where are the members of my faithful crew? Oh, Tweeter Bell. How come I always gotta play Tweeter Bell? Cut the static, Tweeter. We've got important hero business to attend to. I hate playing Tweeter Bell. Look, crew, a fearsome space dragon is after our ship. <laughs> Great galaxies. What a hideous, horrible monster. I said, what a hideous, horrible monster. Oh, my goodness. It's coming right for us. It's really scary. Help! We're doomed. Come on, dudes. Save us, Brown Hornet. Save us. One side, my hysterical little friend. I shall deal with the monster in true hero style. Oh, lay there, dragon. <laughs> How do you like that for a fancy escape? Uh oh. Slow down. Slow down. Oh. <laughs> that tweeter is what you call one tired. Dragon. <laughs> Boy, have you guys got a lot to learn about in heroics. Dexter, is that you? Who were you expecting? Captain Cougar? <laughs> Still haven't gotten all the bugs out of those landings yet, huh? I'm working on it. Now that I'm in costume, I can do anything. That is a great-looking costume. <laughs> yeah, too bad I can't say the same for what's inside. <laughs> you look like three potatoes trying to fill out a 10-pound bag. Clap if you want. But when I wear this costume, I can do anything Captain Cougar can do. Oh, yeah? Then let's see you fly out of here. Hey, Dexter's not bothering anyone. Leave him alone. No, that's all right, Fat Albert. We heroes know how to deal with jealous onlookers. We just ignore them. Boy, Rudy won't laugh at me when I win the big costume contest. Old Dexter will be the star of the convention. I'll be the most super fantabulous hero there. Help, help. Hey, huh? that dude just stole some lady's purse. Come on. I'll be almost as great as Captain Cougar. There he is! Hey! Come on now! Huh? Huh? What's going on? Hey, Dexter caught the purse snatcher. Good work, son. You stopped the mugger from getting away. I did! Oh, yeah! Sure, I did! Let's go, fella. Way to go, Dexter. See? I told you I'm a hero when I wear this suit. Thanks so much for getting my purse back. Here, this is for you. Thank you, ma'am. But we heroes never accept rewards. 
That grateful gleam in your eye is the only payment I need. Oh, brother. Dexter's fooling himself again. He really thinks he was a hero. What next? So when I saw that creep heading for me, I just dropped down to my famous super kung fu pose. Yeah! And let him have it. Pow! Super Mouse at it again. What a pain. I hate to admit it, but Rudy's right. That hero stuff has gone to Dexter's head. I know I'm worried about what might happen if he starts taking it too seriously. Mmm, chocolate cake. My favorite. My favorite, too. Thanks, kid. Hey, that's my cake. Wrong, Squirt. That was your cake. You gonna do anything about it? Oh, yeah. No one messes with my friends when I'm around, you dig? Beat it, Wimp, or I'll pretend you're a push broom and clean up the playground with you. Oh, yeah? You and what army? Hey, Dexter, why don't we let the teacher settle this? What for? I can handle this creep. You've been asking for this, meat hooks. Big fight, big fight! Dexter and meat hook, come, come, come quick! Oh, no. <sighs> Now it's my turn. Let him go, Rodney. No, uh, 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 Miss Wicker? You've got an appointment in my office, young man. Now go there immediately. Yes, Rodney, immediately. You heard me, Rodney. Go to my office now. Yes, we showed him, huh? Wrong, Dexter. Miss Wicker stopped the fight, not you. What are you trying to prove, anyway? Hey, all heroes have to fight. Besides, I wouldn't have gotten hurt. You saw how I handled that mugger yesterday. You gotta stop thinking everything you see on TV is real. It's make-believe, just for fun, not for believing, okay? You can't pretend to be Captain Cougar and fight your way out of real problems. The fat Albert is right, 100% right. As a matter of fact, 200% right. But do you think Dexter is going to listen? No, I don't think so either. And you know what happens to people who won't listen to reason? Right, they find out for themselves the hard way. And as the saying goes, the higher they fly, the harder they fall. Comic. They're real hard to find and inexpensive, but look, this one's only $95. Put it back, Donald. <laughs> well, look who's here. Captain Cougar. Or should I say, Captain Cub. <laughs> Very funny, Rudy. Just wait till I walk off with the prize for winning the costume contest. Well, you better start walking now, because I think a lot of other people had the same idea. Oh, no! Everyone came dressed as Captain Cougar. I'll never win now. Cheer up, Dexter. At least you can still meet the captain. Attention, all comic fans. Here he is, your favorite TV and comic book hero, Captain Cougar! Hello, everyone. Welcome to the convention. Hey, that appearing trick was pretty cool. Look, he's even got a real cougar with him. Of course, dummy! The wild animals are Captain Cougar's friends! He speaks their language. Everyone knows that. I'm gonna go get my autograph book. That kid doesn't read comics. He lives them. I have an idea. I'm gonna have a talk with Captain Cougar. Excuse me, uh, Captain? What can I do for you, my young friend? I was hoping that you would talk to a friend of mine. He really gets into your TV show. Uh, unfortunately, that's the only thing he gets into. I mean, hardly anything matters to him except watching your adventures and, and acting them out. He thinks everything you do is real, even the flying. And I'm worried because he might hurt somebody or himself. He, he thinks I really fly. He sure does. Why don't you bring him to my room later? I'll have a talk with him. Will do. Thanks, Captain. wants to see me. That's right. I told him what a fan you are, and he asked me to bring you to his room. He has some things he wants to tell you. 
Come on in. Hello there. Hi! We were supposed to meet Captain Cougar. Is he here yet? You're talking to him. I'm George Howard, the actor who plays the captain on television. You're Captain Cougar? Oh, I get it. The captain must be your secret identity. Don't worry, Captain. Your secret's safe with me. You don't understand, Dexter. Mr. Howard just pretends to be Captain Cougar. He's really Mr. Howard. I'm afraid your friend's right, son. There's no real Captain Cougar. I'm a real, live, normal man. And by the way, I can't really fly through the air or bend steel bars. But on TV, all those things I see you do. Those are all just camera tricks, kind of like stage magic. Just looks like I do those things. You didn't really think I could fly, did you? Really, Dexter, out of my costume, I'm just a regular guy like you. But you're not just a regular guy to me. You're a hero. And when I wear this costume, I feel like a hero, too. A costume doesn't make you a hero, Dexter. I don't believe you. Dexter, I'm sorry, Mr. Howard. That's all right. It's your friend I'm worried about. Me, too. I'm afraid he might get himself into trouble. We better go find him. Have any of you guys seen Dexter? Yeah, he was headed toward the stage a few minutes ago. He looked pretty sad. Come on. <laughs> what? What was that? Hey, I don't have to be afraid. When I'm wearing this costume, I'm indestructible, just like the real Captain Cougar. So you see here, tough, huh? I'll show you. I knew it. You're afraid of me because you know I have great powers. Hey, stay back, or I'll super, super, super something to you. I, I. Dexter. Oh, no, Dexter. Oh, no. You gotta get him out of here. Man, what are you doing? Mr. Howard, do you think you can distract that lion? I, I guess I can try. Uh, 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 nice kitty. Oh, over here. Take it nice and easy, Dexter. Now that we're here, what do we do? That fire hose. Hey, Dexter! Up here! Grab on! That was close. We talked before about sometimes a person has to learn things the hard way, and that's the way Dexter has just learned his lesson. And it's one he'll never forget. Mr. Howard, I just want to say thanks. You were right. A person doesn't have to wear a costume to be a hero. Captain Cougar is fun to read about, but you're a real hero. Just do me one favor, Dexter. In the future, leave the superheroics to the people who know how to do them, like the special effects crew and comic book artists. Believe me, I will. I guess that makes two good things that have happened today. What's the second one, Fat Albert? The judges couldn't really decide which Captain Cougar costume to give the prize to, so they gave it to us. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of good shows on television are there just for fun, for entertainment for stirring your imagination, but certainly not for imitating or believing. In television or in the movies, there are lots of ways of making trick shots, like making somebody disappear. It's as easy as snapping your fingers. Now I'm gone. Now I'm here. And now I'm here. All of this was done in the camera. 
And I'm telling you that because I don't want you to believe that I can really make myself disappear. So, just remember, when you watch an exciting movie or television program, you see some fantastic, daring, dangerous deed, chances are it was a trick shot and it wasn't real at all. As it was done to entertain you, not to give you any ideas of trying to do the thing. And now, if you will excuse me. Uh, fellas, it's time for me to disappear. Sometimes they forget. Okay. You ready? So long. See you again soon. Thank mm -hmm. you.